In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can embed an external web resource into your Canvas course. So let's get started. So you can see that I am in my pages section of my Canvas course, and I have created a page with a page title and just a very small set of directions um, about how the students are going to make a collection of coins and then kind of practice naming those coins as they add them to their page. So I do want to offer them a web resource that's going to be some sort of digital math manipulative. And I would love that if that's directly embedded into the Canvas page. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to go to one of my favorite resources, which is called the Math Learning Center. And once you're in the Math Learning Center, you would go to Resources and then Math Apps. And those are all free apps that you can use. And they also have apps if you have iPads that you're using for virtual learning or in your classroom. They do have um, apps on the iPad as well. And so I'm going to jump down to the Money Pieces app. But since I'm on a computer, I am going to open the web app of Money Pieces. And so on this web app of Money Pieces, you can see that I have um, some coins on the left. I can make this little switch right here uh, to get those base 10 blocks out of the way. And then I also have this toolbar on the right. And so I want to take this page right here and embed that into my Canvas course. So I'm going to go to another website that's called iFrame Generator. So on iFrame Generator, this will allow me to take that Math Learning Center website and embed it into my Canvas course through HTML coding. So what you can do in these top options here, you do have a name option if you wanted to give it a name. And then your width and your height are in pixels right now. And so I'll be totally honest with you guys, the width and the height might need to be played around with depending on your resource. So I'm gonna leave it right now at 600 by 400 and we'll see what that looks like. And then I'll show you how you can play around with those numbers and see how that affects the embedding. Um, so you do have some other options here. If you're embedding a website that students might need to scroll, then you would want to change that from no to yes to allow your students to stay in Canvas and scroll through a web page. You have some margin width and margin height options. You also have some border options. So you can have yes as a border or no as a border. You can pick a border type. You can pick a border size. And so those are personal preferences on how you would want that to look within your course. You can also pick a border color there. Um, so I'm just going to keep everything as is for now, and then I'll walk you guys through what some of those changes will look like. Um, so I'm gonna go down to where it says iframe URL. And so I'm gonna pop back over to my Money Pieces tab, and I'm gonna copy that URL. So I'm gonna click, right click, copy, and I'm going to come back over to my iframe generator and I am going to paste that URL into my iframe generator. Something to keep in mind is that iframe generator prefers that you use websites that are secure so they will have that HTTPS. Okay, so if they're just HTTP, they may not work in iframe generator. So I'm going to paste that URL. And this preview button is going to be one of the most important things that you do and that you look at when you're working with the iframe generator. So I'm going to click preview and then you can see exactly what that's going to look like within your Canvas course. So I do want to point out um, one potential problem with iframe generator. So you can see right now um, from a glance, it looks great. It looks exactly the same. I can still click my pieces and move those around. And so I know that that part would work in my Canvas course. But you might notice that down here at the bottom, that blue toolbar has been cut off. And so let me go back and show you what it looked like originally. I'll 
these options down here. And so it looked like it had cut it off around in this area. So that's something to keep in mind. And that's a big reason why we really want you guys, if you're using iframe generator, then you've got to do that preview so that you can see what it's going to look like within your Canvas course. So this could be a situation where, you know, I don't really like how that looks in preview mode. So I'm going to go back into my iframe generator and I want to play around with the width and height. So I can see if maybe I can get that blue toolbar to show a little bit more, or maybe you want to make it bigger or smaller within your Canvas page. So I'm going to show you what it looks like um, to increase this. So you do want to make sure that you keep the same ratio. So if you increase the width by 200, then you would want to increase the height by 200. Um, and that's just to avoid stretching out those resources or smushing those resources just to keep that proportional. So I'm going to go up to 800 on the width and 600 on the height. And so again, I'm going to keep my URL there and I'm going to preview that to see how that looks different. And then you can see that it's a little bit bigger on my page here. So it's going to be a little bit bigger in my Canvas course. I still don't have that whole toolbar there, but I do have a little bit more of that. Okay. And so I even have now some of these drawing tools. Okay. So if you're satisfied with that preview mode, then what you would do is you would go back to your iframe generator. And if you're satisfied with it, you would click generate. And so that's where it generates your HTML code. Okay, so I'm going to copy that HTML code. And I'm going to go back over to my Canvas course. And so remember, I'm in my Canvas course and I'm on a page where I want this to appear. So I'm going to go in and edit the page. And since we copied HTML, then I need to go to the HTML editor. And so that is right here. And so I'm going to switch that to HTML editor. I'm going to hit enter to come down a line and I'm just going to paste in that HTML. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then now you can see that you have those money pieces and that math manipulative there for your students and they would be able to use that to do some exploring with their coins. Okay, so again, I do want to stress to you guys, you've got to use that preview mode um, because the money pieces looked great, but we did have that little tiny problem of where it cut off the toolbar. But you're definitely going to have to play around with your iframe generator and maybe even your height and your width. And then also know that some external websites will not work well with iframe generator. So keep that in mind. You definitely want to test it out before you assign it to your students to prevent any issues 